All right, so today we're going to see whether we can charge our Tesla Model 3 with the Hyundai Ionic 5. So the Ionic 5 comes with a V2L adapter like this. So this end goes into the Ionic, and then this other end has a 10 and 15 amp um, socket, which we can plug the Tesla into. Let's give it a go. All right, so we've got the Hyundai Ionic 5 charging our Tesla Model 3. How good's that? Using the V2L connector to the Ionic 5. There it is there. And then connecting to the Tesla Model 3 on this end. Hey everyone, welcome back. Tesla Tom here. Today we are with the Hyundai Ionic 5 and we've got the V2L connector to the charge port. V2L means vehicle to load. We can basically plug a 10 or 15 amp plug into the socket there. All right, so Keith's gonna plug in. So this supports both 10 and 15 amps. Beautiful, thank you, Keith. And uh, press this on button there like that. Okay, so that's gonna flash green. There you go, green there. You can also see charge port flashing there as well. Okay, and in the car, transferring V2L. All right, 51% state of charge today. So, where does this extension cord go? Let's have a look. Goes from the car to, ta-da, that's our electric grill. Yeah, so it's definitely on. Let's pump it up. It's definitely heating up. And what are we cooking today? So you've seen Bjorn Island cook or uh, we'll use a hairdryer. Today we are cooking some plant-based burger patties. That should be good. It's getting warmer. It's good. Might go higher. I better go get some olive oil. Yeah. What's also handy is that the car is telling you how much load is coming off the car. So 2.2 kilowatts there. So that's quite handy information. So let's check inside the Tesla Model 3. So inside Model 3, 12 hours and five minutes remaining from 78 to 100%, charging at six amps, one kilowatt, pretty slow. But it can be done. All right. All right, Keith's gonna cook for us, Master Chef. Bit of olive oil. It's quite funny to think that this energy is coming from a car. That's right. EV breakfast. All coming off the Ionic, by the way. You could be experiencing 100% renewable cooking right now. If you had a Hyundai Ionic 5 with a V2L. Adapter. That's awesome. Full 2.2 kilowatt load. Cooking plant-based patties. Off an EV. Who would have thought, huh? Living in the future. What an age we live in. <laughs> <laughs> and then inside Ionic 5. There we go. Transferring V2L, 48% left in the battery, releasing 1.4 kilowatts of charge from the car to the Model 3. How good's that? All right, so we've got a uh, little mini trailer here and uh, Keith is showing us that it's got a- 15 amp. 15 amp, yep, plug on that end. So you could literally run an extension cable from that to the Ionic 5 and you could power this trailer right here. So this has got a small battery in it, um, solar panels on the roof, and would run um, a fridge and lights. All right, so our burger patties are still sizzling away there. It smells good, it smells really good. 
We haven't had breakfast yet, so. So this car's a lifesaver. <laughs> Literally. Providing food to th this morning. Yeah, that quality. It's not bad. Nicely seared there. Doesn't take long. Yeah, see how tender. Mm. Uh, Alright, the question is can a Hyundai Ionic 5 charge a BMW i3? i3's plugged in. Cable snaked on the ground up to the V2L. It's flashing into the car. Hey, look at that. It is working. Transferring V2L, providing 1.3 kilowatts of load. That's awesome, isn't it? Being able to charge another EV with the Hyundai Ionic 5. Where are you get close? Um, I don't know, it's hard to tell with the whole plant-based thing, isn't it? Because I guess they're edible at any point. Yeah, that's true. But I think as long as they're warm through, I don't know, I might give them another minute. All right, cool. Be a bit crispy on the other side. And there's the i3 screen. It's definitely charging. Could probably go faster, but the um, BMW is already at close to 100%, hence only 1.3 kilowatts. But the evidence is there, it's definitely charging from the Ionic 5. I think we're close. I think we're gonna call it. Oh, yeah. Breakfast is served. Nice. Oh, that looks so good. All right, beyond the challenge is up, mate. We cooked. What have you got for us? That is gourmet. <laughs> that is EV Sauce? cooking at its best. Oh, yes, wouldn't mind. Thank okay. you. EV cooking. Carport cooking. I'm going to do a, an I for Ionic on this one. <laughs> yes. Brilliant. Okay, so this whole time we've been cooking, it's only dropped 1% in battery, from 51 to 50%. Yeah, exactly. To unplug it, you've got to press the unlock button there. And then you can just pull it out gently, like that. And then to close the lid, press close. Done. All right, Keith. Hey. Ready to tuck in? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Taste test. It's pretty good. Not bad. I can tell it was cooked with an EV. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. You can really taste the texture. Yeah. The electrons coming through yeah. the grill there. Mm. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> really good. I can't go back now to just regularly cooked food. No. <laughs> it's awesome. What should we call this? The, the Ionic Burger? The oh. Ionic Burger. The Ionic Burger, sorry. Yeah. I shouldn't talk about a mouthful. Mm. Alright guys, that's it from us, from Keith and myself. Hope you enjoyed that. This is the Ionic Burger, cooked off a grill, using the V2L adapter from the Ionic 5. Uh, thanks for watching, take care, and as always, happy charging. This is the good life. Yep. The EV life. The Ionic 5 comes with a V2L adapter like this. So on this end, Start again. Start again. All right, let's plug in. So this supports both 10 and 15 amps. So let's go in there. <laughs> I might get you to do it. have got a great bloopers reel on this one. All right, Keith's gonna cook for us, Master Chef. Bit of olive oil. Oh no, we've got a bit of an angle on our table. <laughs>
Okay, so we've got to unplug the adapter now. So to do that, you've actually got to unlock the whole car like that. And then you can pull the adapter out. Like so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to unplug the V2L, you've got to unlock the doors like that. And this should just slip out. Yeah. Alright guys, well that's it from us. <laughs> Finish your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that goes in the outtake. Oh, right there.